Welcome back to the Ravenport Tutorials for Episode 2, Arable Farming, with me, the Game and Hedgehog. Learn the basics of the game and how to effectively work your land, but first, some shout outs. Thank you to the two, thank you to the two amazing friends who got me an early Christ Christmas present. Wait, it wasn't really early, it was more the case that I just got excited and opened it anyway. Um, it was a, a, it was a Turtle Beach Recon 200 Gen 2 headset. I'll post some photos of the headset itself. Uh, you might not have seen seen one. I thought it'd be quite cool to put on the on the Instagram page, um, which you'll find at the Game and Hedgehog, which is TG Hedgehog, or lowercase. Um, we'll get some photos posted of the headset, and you can have a look. Uh, you may have also seen that I've done my first reel, um, whatever a reel is. Um, we now have a dog on the Ravenport map, which we were playing in the last video. So the dog need, need, needs a name, he or she. Um, at the moment, he's just called Ravenport Dog. Um, yeah. There's Twitter, uh, TG Hedgehog, capital T, capital G, capital H. And also, while you're there, check out farming simulators twitter page for their advent calendar and their giveaways there's seven ways you can enter and uh, if you do all of them you have more of a chance uh, speaking of advent calendars go check out mr cdp's youtube channel for his adventure calendar for farming simulator 22 and remember hashtag get this man to 100k go give him a like a share and, and a subscribe let's get him to 100 thousand followers before Christmas because he deserves it period um, also you may have seen from the intro that we now have twitch um, which is at TG underscore hedgehog all lowercase again um, I'm hoping to go live on farming simulator 22 as the update has gone through so thank you Giants you only last me shout outs so in today's lesson, you will learn about arable farming to produce crops. There are, are three mandatory steps. Cultivating, sowing, harvesting. Let's start with cultivating. Cultivating aerates the ground before you start sowing your crops. You'll need a tractor and a cultivator for this task. First look around the area, then move up to, up to the tractor. Left stick up, down, left and right controls the player's movement. Right stick up, down, left and right controls the player's view direction. And in case I didn't tell you, when you're walking around, you can press A to jump and white to crouch. Pretty cool. And remember, you can press left back and left stick in to enlarge the map and, or make it go away. So we'll keep it there, I think. Here's your tractor. Tractors are required to pull tippers and tools. Hop in. Press X to enter the vehicle. Let's have a look at what we've got first. We've got the K brand, Kultemeyer L300. DJ, that's also a shout out to you. It's just easier to say K, K brand. As I don't want YouTube to come down hard uh, for the same reasons that I think you and Mr. Sealy P have had the issues with. What's on the front? We've got a weight we have. We've got an ad core weight there. We'll find out what size in a second. And we've got the Massive Ferguson 5613 Dyna4. We'll jump in. Here's the gas pedal next to the brake. And you've seen a steering wheel before, haven't you? It's easy. Right trigger accelerates the vehicle, left trigger decelerates the vehicle. Left stick steers the vehicle. You need to attach the weight and and the, the cultivator. First, slowly drive to the small black weight in front of you and attach it to your tractor. Then move backwards towards the cultivator and attach it to the back of your tractor. The extra weight will counterbalance the heavy weight at the back. Press A to attach tools. So we'll drive forward. Weight first. Beacons. Give it a honk. That's cool. We'll drive forward. Giants, you've parked this tractor far too, too close. There we go, we've got the ADCO 1100 weight. 1100 kilos. And then we'll do this in cab, because I can. We'll re reverse back. There we go. K brand, Kultemeyer L300, 3 metre cultivator. Since you have two tools attached, you can switch between them to operate them individually. The schematic view of the tractor in the top left displays the tools that's currently active. Select the cultivator at the back and lower it into the soil. Then drive up and down the field as straight as you can. Press Y to switch tool. Left back in A unfolds or folds the selected tool. Left back in B lower or raise the, raises the selected tool. 
So we'll jump out. Schematic in the top left corner there. You can see the two qu qu quarter circles and the tractor itself. So on the first one, we've got the weight. Left button B, lower that. Press Y again to the cultivator. And we'll lower that as well. And we'll drive forward. Now, when I get to the top of the field, what I want is some advice in the comments below. I want to try and make it more realistic because I don't know what to do. I, don't, I know it sounds weird, but, but keep, just follow me. It sounds strange because there's two ways that I've seen people do, do this. The first was on Clarkson's farm. So I don't know if when you get here, if you, lower, if you raise the cultivator, sorry, do you guys just turn around and then realign yourself? Like so, keeping the the left side of the cultivator on the line that you've just made. Re-lower the cultivator and drive on. Or, if like on Clarkson's farm where he got told off for doing that, if you get to the very edge of the field, which we'll get there eventually, like so, if you get here, raise the cultivator and then reverse back. Now, I know it's not re re realistic to keep the cultivator in the ground as you'll, in, in real life or, or IRL, you'll damage it because it, it's turned through itself. So let, let me know in the comments what you guys think is right or if a farmer's watching, what do you do? That's always probably the best way to find out things out. So we're, we're already done. The progress bar is getting filled quite nicely there. I think we've got one more strip to do. Judging from the progress bar. And I also think that this one's a, it's like a recap of what you do when you first start the game on Ravenport. I think it pretty much goes through the same processes. Apart from refilling the soil. Nicely done, you've got the hang of cultivation. Ready to plant some seeds. Moving on. Cultivating has loosened the soil, making it well prepared for sowing. You'll need a tractor and a sowing machine for this task. Make sure to fill the sowing machine with seeds. Get in the tractor and attach the tools bef as you did before. Press X to enter the vehicle and A to attach the tool. What have we got? Oh, we've got a Valdestad. Is it Valdes? Fadestad? And it's green. For all, I'm, I'm a fan of green. It's the 6135M John Deere. Have we got a front weight? Nope, because the tractor comes with one. And I think there's some seed around there as well. So we'll jump in. First things first. Egan. Horn. I turn the lights on. There uh, we go. We'll get some lights on. If I haven't told you how to do that, it is right back. And then press B and you'll cycle through the light options. So we'll get some lights on. We'll reverse back to the Vadastad Spirit R300S. First fill the sewing machine with seed with the seed pallet next to it. Then turn it on so it can plant seeds. Finally lower it into the soil. Once all this is done, drive up up the field again and sow some canola seeds. Press Y to switch to a selection, left back and B, lower or raise the selected tool, left back and X, turns on the selected tool, on or off, left stick pressed in, refill the saw. So, left stick pressed in, refill the saw, with the canola. And then the lid automatically closes. Now you can reopen that I think. Normally, yeah you can. Left back and left on the analog stick reopens that cover if you wanted to drive alongside some seeds again so we'll drive forward now you may have seen that there was ridge markers for a selection there so what a ridge marker is if you press left back and up on the analog stick and drive forward first of all we need to lower the cedar you'll notice that there's a darker line just there where the camera is now if you get to the end of the field 
and put the nose of the tractor down that line, you shouldn't miss any areas of the field. But I always do. So we get to the end of the field, we press left back and up on the analog to lower, to raise the ridge markers. Left back and V lift the cedar. And what we'll do is we'll just realign. And then I'll put the nose of the track bed down that line. Nice and slowly. I didn't turn the cedar on. That's embarrassing. We'll try again. So let's get realigned on this side. Ridge marker. That's embarrassing. I didn't even turn it on. Hang on. Bear with us. I, g I just got excited. Only human. What I should have noticed was the schematic in the top right corner as it wasn't turned on. So press left back and X to turn it on. There we go. Now that. I haven't lowered it. Oh, I'm having a bear. It isn't fair. Hash job. When farming go, go, goes wrong. It was at this point, he knew he, I'm going to let you end that one. Right, is this seeding? Yes. Go me. By putting canola in the ground, it took l l long enough. Right, raise the cultivator, raise the ridge marker, realign. Ridge marker down, lower the cedar. Right, on the next pass, we will follow the ridge marker by being in cab. Excellent ridge markers away, lift the cedar and realign. Ridge markers. I've missed a bit. Why has it done that? Am I in line? Yes. Think so. Lower the cedar. Are you lower? Yes. Right. Go. Has it worked? Yay! I did a thing! I planted some seeds. It took me long enough. I can't reverse. Send help. Right. Last time, I think. Look at the gaps in, in that. There we go. Good job, the seeds are planted and now all it takes is some time for them to grow into a field of canola re ready to harvest. He's off in t t t to, to a tree, don't worry about him. After some time has passed, a field is ready to be harvested. In Korea, look in the map menu to see if any fields are ready to be harvested. You need a combine harvester and a header for this task. The combine harvester ha harvests the grain and separates it from the stems. Then the grain can be sold. Enter the combine harvester and attach the header at the front. Press X to enter the vehicle. Press A to attach the tool. I'm not going to miss anything this time. I really am not. That was just embarrassing. What we've got? We've got the John Deere T56i combine harvester. We'll jump in. We'll drive forward. And attach the John Deere X25X 
header. There we go. First, a combine must be unfolded, then you can turn it on. This way, the cutter is lowered automatically. You can also raise and lower it manually, but remember to keep it low for harvesting. Press Y. Press Y to switch the tool selection. Left back in A unfolds or select unfolds or folds the selected tool. Left back in B lower or raises the selected tool. Left back in X turns the selected tool on or off. All right, we'll jump out. Horn. Beacons. Awesome. Now, if you were to just turn it on, turn on the harvester, you get a warning. You first need to unfold the tool, which is what it said. So press Y to change it, to change the schematic, and then left back in A unfolds it. Nice little animation there. Nice. There we go. Press Y again to turn on the harvester. It lowers it itself. And we drive forward. Right, let's get this done. Without missing a bit. Canola. I think. I think it probably is, but so we'll enable the straw sloth by pressing left back and right on the analog. Straw sloth is not available for this food type. Now there is a PC mod that en enables that, so we're just gonna um, just spray it out the back. And canola is generally used for feeding pigs. Or just selling to make a profit. The combine grain tank is nearly full. Open the pipe, drive alongside the tipper at the edge of the field, and enter the grain tank into it. Left back and down on the analog stick opens or closes the pipe. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it off. So you can hear me speaking. Because it is quite loud, I think. I'm not sure. And then, we'll line ourselves up. Pipe out. Left back and down on the analog into the trailer. There we go. Come on. bad. Great. Get out of the combine and get into to the tractor in the front of in front of the tipper. Press X to enter the vehicle. Right. First, we will get out. Leave the beacons on. And we'll get in. Get in this side. The flashing icon on your map shows where to unload the tipper. Drive over there and enter the grain into your side into your silos. Press right back and Y to un to start or stop discharge or untip so begins on and we'll go internal have a nice internal camera for this normally um i wouldn't drive through the crop because i like to play with crop destruction on and you would damage the crop so that's you'll find that in settings but it's, up, it's entirely up to you how to how you play this game. I'd go for like a semi-realistic thing. So we'll get this untipped. So right back on Y, start overloading the canola. So when, let's do about a second. If we, oh, I didn't show you this in the last episode on some trailers. I, I think I tried to. You press left back and left on the analog stick. You can, close, you can open and close the covers on some of them. And 
what we're also going to look at is the tip side on the trailer which is right back and then down on the analog stick so you've got tip side back which opens the back of the trailer tip side green door which opens that little flap there and then we've got tip side left the whole tip the whole trailer tips to the left and tip side right um, tips it tips the entire thing to the right so what we're going to do is go tip side left and we're going to press right back and Y to get that unloaded can you see it? oh you can, not bad excellent, the grain will keep well in your, sil in your silos there is limited capacity you can store it in them but you will be able to expand them later in the game once you are ready to sell your harvest you can take the grain out of your silos and deliver them to one of the various sell selling stations in the world to make some money. Good work! And with this, you are now prepared to turn your land into a thriving farm. And with that, it is time for me to end this episode. Thanks again for watching, and um, thanks again for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You can just see Ravenport Dog, he's going mental at the moment. Give him some food there. Come on then! Good boy. So yeah, th you can find me on Instagram at the Gaming Hedgehog. That's TG Hedgehog, all lowercase. You can find me on Twitter at TG Hedgehog, capital T, capital G, capital H. And don't forget, we will be going live on Twitch at TG underscore Hedgehog. Thanks again for watching, guys, and a merry, merry Christmas.